Let, let's see what the details are. I'm just talking about the general topic right now. Some of you guys might have seen this earlier, but this is relevant to us. Someone could swap me right now, have police bust through the door. I could get killed right here on camera. They did it to this guy. I don't know. A Call of Duty few. Oh, it's, of course it's Call of Duty. God fucking damn it. I mean, really, of all games, it had to be COD, nigga. Led to one player to call the Kansas police to the home of another player. The address given was for the home of another man, though, who wasn't associated with the gaming community. Police showed up to what they thought was a hostage situation, shot and killed Andrew Finch, 28 years old, as he opened the door. The nigga was practically my age. I'm 27. So it could have been any of us. Now, let's see some more details, man. This is crazy. Officers are still at work. 28-year-old man is dead. They responded to a call that there were hostages. When officers arrived, they found nobody shot. Three to four people were in the home, safely taken downtown for interviews. When officers arrived, the 28-year-old came to the door and an officer shot him. Straight up at the door? So now, if you don't comply with police commands when there's a serious situation with guns drawn, then yeah, you're probably gonna get killed. You mean to tell me that this wasn't even like the guy who was in the hotel lobby or room or hallway, but the guy came through, opened the door, and they killed him? I don't know, man. Maybe it's because, you know what? Maybe I'm triggered. Or maybe it's because I'm a streamer. Maybe it's because I'm 27. But the fact that a young man goes to the door and is instantly robbed of his life thanks to a prank call, it's sick to me. Disgusting. I mean, granted, maybe the person who did the swatting didn't know it would go that far. And that's the thing. So many of the trolls nowadays who pull off these things are completely oblivious to the actual harm that they can do, or maybe they do know the harm they can do. If you know the harm that a swatting can do and you still do it, you're not a human, you are a monster. And you deserve to be put down like a rabid dog. And I'm not, and it's like saying that someone deserves death is an extreme statement, I know that. Trust me, it's like the worst thing that you can say because everyone deserves life, we're all here, we're able to breathe air, experience things. But people like that, there's some individuals that I will say deserve death. And if you are reckless enough, dumb enough, evil enough to call the police in a false swatting incident on someone, then yeah. Maybe not death per se, but you deserve to be locked up for a long ass time. And if they get killed, you deserve to be killed too. It's extreme. But hey, I'm calling it like it is because they don't understand the actual risks there. They don't know what it's like to have a fucking gun pointed at you. Guess who does? Me, nigga! I just wanna say right now that I greatly appreciate how you guys can be savages. And who knows, maybe people have tried to swap me in the past. I mean, I, I'm, I bet it's probably happened before. Thankfully, nothing ever went through. It's probably because the police in New York City don't give a fuck. They don't get to the crime scene when the crime is happening. They get there two hours after. So if I ever was swatted while I was doing my IRL streams back when I lived in a different neighborhood a while ago, then hey, maybe they avoided me completely due to the delay that they always have with everything. But in other places, smaller neighborhoods, rural areas, it's not the same. When the sheriff gets a call, the one call he gets in like two weeks, he's gonna grab that pistol, call the squad up, and run to that crib as fast as he can in the hopes of getting a fucking medal. And when they see a perp, they take that nigga down. You mean to tell me they killed this guy without even confirming if he was the fucking suspect in the first place? A community of online gamers said yesterday, the police shooting was a result of swatting. A feud, Call of Duty. 
Another awful thing about the death from the swatting in Kansas is that there are multiple reports that the man killed wasn't even a part of the dispute that prompted the swatting. Even if he was involved, it's an argument on Call of Duty. How does that go towards, like, justifying him getting murdered by police over a fucking prank call? Prank calls? Whatever happened to Battletoads? Lighthearted comedy. Oh, huh. hit up your GameStop. Call them niggas. Now it's hit up the police department. Murder that nigga. What the fuck is going on? I don't know, man. These niggas nowadays, if you, like, I would never do that shit. Listen, I'm not trying to say I'm holier than thou, you know, a better person than you are. Trust me, I'm not. But it's like, if you know someone can die, <laughs> usually you don't do it. Do you want this person to die? No. All we would do before is ask him for battle toads. You ain't hurting nobody with that shit. Call up a subway. Ask him for the fucking pizza. They made a pizza. Call up and ask him for a burger. That used to be funny to me. And now, I don't know, man. People, like, it's like the standard of entertainment, lulls, and, and comedy has gone so high now that someone's life has to be at risk literally all the time in order for people to actually enjoy it and get a laugh out of it because of how, how insensitive people are now to extreme comedy. It's like those pranks. Pranks are no longer funny on YouTube anymore because we've seen it all. In order for a prank to be funny, now someone has to be literally on death's door. <laughs> um jp um jp i'm gonna call you jp fuck that shit he says it's 5 a.m here i can't sleep i'm watching your stream instead so good game thank you man i appreciate that shit <sighs> etika the whole thing the worst thing wait i'm reading the chat right now the worst thing is that it was over one dollar and fifty cents you my friend whoever the hell wrote that comment you have gotta be niggering me in the asshole with a hot rod a nigga died, thanks to police and swatting, for 50 cents? A dollar. You mean to tell me a nigga died for less than this? I don't know, man. Dumb shit. Dumb shit. But you know what? You gotta feed the machine. If it gets a laugh, fuck it. Who cares if a nigga dies? It's funny. <laughs> hey, listen, he gets his fucking head blown off. A mother loses her son. A daughter loses her father. A brother loses his, his best friend. A girlfriend loses her soulmate. But it's fucking funny. Because, hey, listen, at the end of the day here, it's all about the troll, nigga. Fuck it, who cares, right? I don't care. Fuck it. Let a nigga die. It's funny. <laughs> hey, this nigga, nigga got fucking murdered. I don't know. Whoever can laugh at that, and I consider myself a pretty soulless motherfucker. Whoever legitimately laughs at that, holy shit. If there was a human being who derived a fucking moment of laughter from this evil, holy shit. You know what? I'll press that button to get my ass into the year 10,000 as soon as humanly possible, no regrets. I don't want to live on the planet with motherfuckers that laugh at shit like that. And if you're laughing right now, I, I, I regret to inform you, you need to get your fucking head checked. At the end of the day, even though I am one of those darker members of the internet, I always had a sense of empathy, a feeling, being able to put myself in someone else's shoes. I, get, I, I can't watch people be hurt like that. Not in an extreme, damaging, permanent way. A little nut busting, you know, hey, hey. You know what, niggas getting kicked in the nuts, that's hard for me to watch. It's like, ooh. I can't watch motherfuckers getting maimed, killed, murdered. It, it's too much. I can. I can watch it. But I can't watch it and derive entertainment. It's like, ugh, I don't know. I don't know. If you can, more power to you. Um...